What's going on YouTube? JT is your born here and welcome to another video. This time we're going to be talking about the Halloween trailer that just came out. I'm actually currently writing my Halloween 6 The Curse of Michael Myers review and I thought I'd take a breather really quick and talk about this new trailer that just dropped. Look at it right there. There's Michael Myers' mask. Um, now when I play this audio, uh, I'm not going to play the audio from the trailer, you know, due to copyright. But as we can see right here, we're going to go through this trailer from the beginning to the end and, you know, talk about some little details we notice. So as immediately the trailer starts out, we see these guys right here. They're in this insane asylum. Michael Myers is right there. And then this um, dumbass, for some stupid reason, is like, hey, Michael, I, I brought your mask here. You want it back, buddy? So that's obviously not like the smartest like move you could do. Because this is obviously going to set Michael off, and then he's going to go off and, you know, start his start the killing again. And then we see right here, we see these characters. I think that's supposed to be Laurie Strode's granddaughter and, you know, two of her friends. You know, it's obviously Halloween right now, and it looks nice, you know, photographed pretty well. Um, Laurie, as you can tell, is definitely, like, been preparing. She's got that cool little, like, moving kitchen counter right there. And then, oh, she's obviously got the, uh, the stab wounds, like the scars from that night. Look at her. She's like, you know, ready to kick ass. She wants to kill Michael Myers. Look at her. Old ass kicking lady. And then, obviously, the bus right here carrying Michael Myers. Something must have happened. And, you know, Michael Myers escaped. So he's obviously going to start killing people from Bloomhouse. Yep. Michael Myers escaped at some point. It's probably my favorite part of the whole trailer right here. Is one of those chicks in the bathroom. And then she's like, uh, excuse me, somebody's in here. And then Michael Myers is just on the other side of that door and then drops the fucking teeth. I'm like, oh, that's hardcore. Oh, yeah, there you go, Michael. Get her. Get her. So then she's there, probably going to die. Oh, here's the iconic moment. Michael puts the mask back on. Oh, and then you hear the classic Halloween theme music playing. Laurie's on Halloween night. Michael's still, you know, doing his stuff. There's uh, Michael in the window here. And then there's some guy right here. Uh, I don't know who that is, per se. There's definitely some Halloween... I think there was something I noticed. Let me just go back for a second. Dun, 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 Wait, let's go back just a frame. I think I saw it. At one point in this trailer, there's some kid with like a silver shamrock mask. There's Michael chasing. There's Lori. She's like, ah, right there. Go back. Back, 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 back. Oh, ah, I missed it. Damn it. But if you look... Come on. Yeah, go. Right there. Right here. There's the mask. There's one of the three matches, masks from uh, Silver Shark. So that's pretty cool. Um, there's Lori. She sees Michael. Obviously, that's a mirror. So she didn't get him. But, like, Jamie Lee Curtis looks pissed off, ready to go. Kick ass. It's going to be great. Michael! It's going to be hardcore, violent. Now... Let's keep going. Oh, here's the closet door gag. Or, oh, God, Michael Myers. Oh, no. Whoa. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I, I'm definitely digging this trailer. It's It's got me hyped. It's got me excited. The Halloween series honestly needed an overhaul. I had an idea for something that they could have done after Resurrection. But, again, this is such a weird series because how many different like continuities do we have now? We have... You know, original Halloween 1 and 2, and then, you know, that continues through, like, Halloween 6. Oh, wait, but no, 3 doesn't count because that's not canon. Halloween 1, 2, 4, 5, and 6, there's that continuity. There's Halloween 1, there's kind of Halloween 2, and then H2O. And even though it's kind of like, you know, like, is it really 2 in canon with H2O? And then there's the Resurrection. Then you have the Rob Zombie remakes. Then you have Halloween here. And then, you know, this completely ignores every other sequel and just goes straight to this one. It's very bizarre how, like, this continuity works in the Halloween series. It's like, all these are different, like, universes. Maybe somebody traveled back in time and tweaked things. I don't know what the fuck's going on with these continuities for these movies. But this one is trying to be a palate cleanser. It's trying to get rid of all the other films just so we could have something focused. Now, I recently read a report that they have ideas for sequels to this movie. So, it tells you this is going to be open-ended and they want to make sequels. Which, you know, I'm just like, ah, but you did say in the, the synopsis, this is the final showdown between Laurie and Michael Myers. I think this one's going to be a good, a really solid sequel. Like, just everything seems to be going right. Carpenter's back for the music. The people involved obviously wanted to make this movie. They have passion for it. And I think they're going to get it right. I really think this is going to be a solid Halloween film. 
maybe the best since the original. Uh, my personal favorites, you know, obviously one, and you have four, and then H2O. And there's, you know, part of Rob Zombie's first remake I think is pretty good. Um, the second one's not. But, yeah, there's still some, like, bad Halloween movies. But I'm still a fan of the franchise. Even if it's good or bad, I'll still go see it, obviously. I mean, if this didn't have Michael Myers, it wouldn't have the appeal to it. But since it is Michael Myers, and we are familiar with this franchise, uh, definitely gets me excited. It's kind of strange, too, to think that Laurie and Michael are no longer going to be siblings in this continuity because it's just like, I'm so used to that. I'm so used to Laurie Strode being the sister of Michael Myers. It's just been well-established in the Halloween lore. Or maybe there are, I mean, obviously they're going to, they said at the beginning of the trailer, oh, that's just something made up. So it's like, okay, we're going a new direction with this one. Because after what they did to Laurie Strode in Resurrection, it was pretty much unforgivable. The series should have ended with H2O. It, it really should have. That should have been the end where she chops off his head if we never got Resurrection and got the reboots, uh, the remakes by Zombie, I think we'd be in better shape. But because of Resurrection, it, it just wasn't satisfying as a way to end the series. So they sequel baited, and you're just like, fuck that, man. So, yeah, I'm definitely very excited for this Halloween movie. I can't wait. All those signs point to it being good. I think fans are ready for this. I think audiences are ready for another Halloween slasher movie because we don't get fucking slasher movies anymore. It's really disappointing. I mean, the last one I saw in theaters was... Texas Chainsaw 3D. I mean, give me some more of these. I mean, we had Exorcist movies, we had Ghost movies, we had like a bunch of superhero movies, which you know I love that stuff. But I want some classic slasher movies in the theater. I haven't seen one in forever. I think The Strangers too was one, but I didn't see that. See, so go figure. I get one. I didn't see it. But I want like a class, you know, like the classic franchise. You know, the big three. You know, Freddy, Michael, and Jason. I want them back on the big screen. It's been so long since we've seen Michael Myers. It's been so long since we've seen Freddy Krueger. It's been so long since we've seen Jason Voorhees. That franchise is built on its longevity. I have a feeling we're gonna, if this movie is a success, which I think it will be because there's a lot of hype for it, I think we're going to see more Freddy films. We're going to see more Jason films. And give me a reboot of Hellraiser too. Give me a good Hellraiser reboot with some money to it. I think that could be quite successful too. So, yep, I've kind of gone off topic. But because I heard they're going to do a sequel to this, it's pretty apparent Michael's going to live. They're probably going to have like one of those endings where it's just like, uh, and he escapes again. And this did say the final confrontation between Michael and Laurie. So I don't want Laurie to die unless she gets rid of Michael Myers. Like, I part of me is just like, I would like to see more movies. But at the same time, that's what reboots are for. I want the series to go out on a high note. I mean, I'll, I'll still go see them. Because, I mean, you know. Halloween movies. I, I love Michael Myers. Why, why wouldn't I go see him? But I do want the series to go out on a high note. Like like Hugh Jackman did with Logan. Like That's a great way to end the series. Or like when they just ended the War of the Apes, the Planet of the Apes trilogy with uh, Matt Reeves in that. The way it ends, I'm like, I don't need any more. I mean, you could possibly continue it, but I don't need any more. I, I, I'm satisfied with the way it's ended. It's a great three-part storyline. It has a beginning, middle, and end. Uh, Christopher Nolan, the way he ended his Dark Knight trilogy, as cool as it would be to return to that world, we had a definitive ending, which is something I feel like a lot of series have lacked, just a good, solid ending, because they always sequel bait them, but like, it, some things are just like, you know what, let's just end it as a trilogy, and then we'll move on, so, yeah, uh, hopefully this movie, if it's good enough to where they warrant a sequel, then let's do it, if it's just like, if it's a cheap ending, then I don't want to see it, so, yep, those are my thoughts on the Halloween trailer and review. I'm definitely really looking forward to this movie. And I'll, uh, I'll talk to you later. My phone's ringing. So, yep. Take care now. Bye-bye then. Comment, like, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. Twitter.com slash uh, SeanJTKing. And, um, yep. Uh, fucking phone.